Hey, how you doing? Johnny T here from Glove and Boots. I'm going to talk to you today about public transportation. And in New York, that's the subway. The subway. It's how us big city folk get from point A to point B. We don't want to, we have to. So please don't be a jerk, because we all got to put up with you. Think of the subway as going to a party at a stranger's studio apartment at 7 in the morning with 800 other people who all hate each other. Doesn't that sound like fun? No one wants to be there. It's like the worst party ever. There's party music. There's dancing. What time is it? It's show time. And there's refreshing beverages. <laughs> but these do not enhance the subway experience. They make you want to strangle somebody. Subway ain't all bad, though. Gets you to work, and it gets you to Yankee games. You know what can make Subway even better? You can. You have to get on and off the subway. You have to. How else are you going to use it? I mean, unless you're the homeless guy who lives in the corner. You want to get on the train? Fine. You let people off the train first. I ain't Stevie Hawkins or nothing, but this makes sense. People get off the train, and now there's room for you. Take a look at what happens when you push your way on first. This is so stupid. Now there's no room for anybody. You would be amazed how many morons get this wrong. So here's a little poem to help you remember what to do. Wait a two seconds and let them off first. Hey, you got a seat. Good for you. You got a seat for your bag. Everybody hates you. Yeah. If you have to take a bag onto the subway, here's what you do. You got one bag, you put it on your lap. You got two bags, you put one on the floor and one on your lap. You got three bags, you put one between your legs, you put one on your lap, and you put one on top of the one on your lap. If you can afford four bags, you can afford to take a cab, dummy. Some people have no bags, and they still take two seats. These people are called assholes. In the days of yore, a gentleman with his sword would gladly give up his seat for a lady fair. But we're done with all that crap. Equal rights, baby! You don't gotta give up your seat to nobody. Unless it's a wobbly old person or a pregnant lady. Come on, give the pregnant lady a seat. She's irritable, and it's like two for the price of one. But just make sure she's actually pregnant. One time, I gave up my seat to what I thought was a pregnant broad. Turns out it was just a fat chick. All right, worst case scenario, you're gonna be on a train for like 90 minutes. What are you, starving? You like one of them little hobbits from Lord of the Rings? Who's gotta eat every 10 minutes? Wait to eat your food. Think eating food in the subway like grade school. If you must eat, make sure you bring enough for everyone. Actually, don't do that. You offer a fork full of street meat to the guy next to you, he's gonna punch you in the face. Mm -hmm. That stuff stinks. Mm -hmm. All right, let's be honest with each other. The subway smells bad. We cannot change this. What we can do is not add to the stink. You see this? We cannot do anything about this guy. And sometimes it's twice as bad. Please, people, there's 90 of us face to face in here for at least a half an hour. Take a shower. If you had onions for breakfast, brush your teeth. But please, do not brush your teeth on the train. If you're in your own home, you do what you want. You toss garbage everywhere, clip your toenails, you take a dump on the floor. You're disgusting, but go for it. The subway is not your home. Don't do this. I have seen each one of these things done on the New York City subway. In conclusion, we all got to take public transportation. Go into it respecting your fellow commuters. Just don't talk, smile, move, or stink. Bonus tip, if you got a bicycle, do not bring it on a subway during rush hour. What's wrong with you? You got a bicycle. Why are you riding your bicycle?